the lady from Anka. International Affair. The lady. Today I want to take a look at how to create a third-party email using Google account in 2019. And with third-party, I mean not a Gmail. So I'm on a generic Google page and I'm going to click at the top right hand side where it says sign in. And I'm going to click at the bottom, create account. And I'm going to choose for myself. You can choose for your business, but in this case, I'm going to create a personal one. And if you're going to use a pseudonym as I'm doing, I would just suggest that you make sure it's one that you will know and remember, because at the end of the day, um, when Google asks you what your name is, you need to know that. And I'm not going to create a Gmail, which is the default option. I'm going to choose this link down here, use my current email address instead. It's a bit confusing because it, it should say third party email address, really. And I'm going to enter my third party email. It's one I use a lot. And I could actually go back and create a Gmail Google account after all. Enter my password. And click on next. And on this page, I'm being asked to verify the email address I've just entered. Now, one point about this, this is this is actually quite handy to, to note. Because you're being asked to verify the email address by receiving a code to it and then entering the code, it actually precludes you ever being able to create a Google account with a third party email address that doesn't function or that is malformed. So there is no way that you can actually make a mistake at this point. So if I go to my um, Yahoo email addresses inbox, I'm being shown the code. And if I copy and paste that code and verify my Google account, I now have the option to complete my sign in, which is to enter my um, date of birth and my phone number, my gender. And if I if I wanted to, I could actually find out why they're asking for this information. But the reason for that is for account security. Click next. And then you're being asked to verify your phone number as well. Again, this is to make sure that you don't enter somebody else's phone number or a malformed phone number and that you can use it to recover access. I'm just waiting for the code number to be received. And here we have it. And verify. Now it actually says here, um, you can also use the number to receive video calls and messages and make ads as services more relevant to yourself. Now, I am not going to be in. I'm going to actually skip that because I don't use my phone all that much. I'm being asked to read through the privacy terms and conditions before I actually get my Google account. I have to agree to the terms of services and I have also got to agree with the processing of my information. Now, these are pretty standard things, but when you click I agree and you acknowledge that you've read them, you are basically entering into a contract. And the nice confirmation screen pops up. Confirm. And that's my Google account created. So that is how to create a Google account using a third party email address in 2019. Thank you for listening and goodbye.